Hi, today we're going to take a look at the triangle inequality theorem. So triangle inequality theorem says you take any two sides, add them up. They have to be larger than your third side. So I could take A and B, add them up. Together, they have to be bigger than angle C. And, and we do that, we're going to have to do that three times to find all of our combinations. So let's try it. We've got sides 8, 15, 17. Let's put them together. Take two sides. Add them up. Are they larger than your third side? Well, 8 and 15 gives us 23 and 17. Does that statement make sense? Yes. That's once. We're going to say 8 and 17 has to be larger than 15. We get 25, which is bigger than 15. Yes, that's good. And the last combination would be 15 and 17. Is that larger than eight? Oh, yes. Um, because that each combination of two sides are larger than that third side, it's possible to have a triangle with these sides. Is it possible to have a triangle with sides two, three, and five? Well, let's try our three combinations. So we have side two and three. Is that larger than the third side? 2 plus 3 is 5. Is that bigger than 5? No. That statement does not make sense. It's, it's a, These are equal, but it's not greater. So, okay, let's put this into perspective. Now, if I have a triangle and it's got a base of 5, let's say I have one arm that's t one leg that's 2, another leg that's 3. Great. If I took those two legs and I kind of bent them in and started moving them that way. What's going to happen is this three is going to land right about there. And then this two is going to land roughly in that same spot, forming just a flat line. So we need one of these numbers to be slightly larger. So eventually they don't get to that flat point. They kind of get that point where they, they eventually stop. So this one fails. What about if I have that missing side? How do I find the range of our x values? Well, we do the same thing we did over there. We're going to take two sides, add them up, and see if it's larger than that last, last uh, value. So let's take 12, uh, 12 plus 8. That has to be larger than x. That gives us, is 20 bigger than x? Well, that's one possible range. And let's switch that. So we say x, 20, this opens up, goes that way. So there's one answer. Let's say 12 plus x is larger than 8. And keep in mind, we always want this inequality eating the two sides rather than the one side. Uh, we want to solve for x. Minus 12, minus 12, x is larger than negative 4. Okay, well, we'll get to that in a minute. And then lastly, we have... 12, nope, 8 plus x plus x is larger than 12, minus 8, minus 8, x greater than 4. Okay, so we have four op we have three options here, 20, negative 4, and 4. First off, you can't have a length of a triangle be a negative number. So automatically, that's not it. So what are we looking for in this case? We're looking for a number that is smaller than 20, but is greater than 4. So two ways we can write this. We could say uh, x greater than 4 and x less than 20. Or we could write it as a compound inequality and say 4x 20. We got that. So this inequality statement stays the same. This one, let's kind of like flip it and eat the x, and then we get that. So either one of these statements work. What's the range from 4 to 20? It's got to be bigger than 4. It's got to be smaller than 20. And that is finding triangle using triangle inequality theorem.